Well, I was down in the shed looking for a particular thing. <laughs> I ran across my old daisy butter churn. I used to have a couple of Holstein cows. This was years ago, and what I do with them cows, then I'd, you know, I have each one of them bred. Then they each have a calf. Then I go and buy a couple more calves because them Holsteins gave plenty of milk. Well, and then after I took the calves off, you know, so I'd have two calves on each cow. Them Holsteins didn't care at all, but they put out a lot of milk. A Holstein does. Well, and after. I took the calves off the cows, then I would continue to milk these cows for quite some time. And so I used this butter churn because I was just swamped with milk all the time. You know, uh, two cows, two whole seeds particularly, put out a lot of milk. So I'd use this for making butter, and these actually work pretty good. You know, they've got the little wooden paddles inside. Fix that up in case I ever get a whole seed again. But digging in the shed made me think. I had this other device. And I don't know if anybody's ever seen one of these. You know, I use my wash machine here. That's why you hear a motor running in the background. I'm pumping water out of the spring. I put it in this black stock tank and let it sit all day. You know, the water will be hot for washing clothes tonight. But this device is made to go in a washer, but it's a butter churn. But, you know, a lot of times on a farm, the first thing you got really of mechanized equipment or motorized was a wash machine. You know, the old gas-powered ones. Now, I can't figure out what brand name, it's just not really legible, but it's all aluminum. But it actually has got a big beater inside use the agitator to turn it but it doesn't go on the agitator what it's made to go this it won't work on this particular Maytag it's the older ones are made to work on because this one doesn't have a high enough tower you normally would take the agitator out and then the tower would fit down all the way in and it would sit in there and that would drive it and then there's a little cap to take the buttermilk out. But that's a pretty slick invention. In fact, I have seen in some place I have an aluminum it's very similar design to this, but quite a little shorter. And that actually is made to fit on top of the agitator. And what it's for is washing your delicate unmentionables. You know, it's a very small tub with just kind of ripples in it for the agitation. But that was made to run off the washing machine too. And I've got one of them someplace. They end up with this weird crap, but... But I think that's a pretty slick design, you know, if somebody was... And I've got an old Maytag that's got the higher power on it. But if somebody was really, you know, <laughs> making a lot of butter, this would be the device to have. Oh, I bet you could even use it like that. There's no reason it wouldn't work. Seems to lock onto that tower pretty well. But I'm sure the way the way it's meant to be is the tower goes all the way up through here and there's a square that, that would fit on top of the tower that would actually do the agitating. They were tricky. The old Maytag with the high power, you know, that's got where the drive is way up here, so that would be for this. But they were, I think that one has got cast iron tub on it. And I actually have that one's got a gas motor on it. But these aluminum ones are nice, they don't they don't tear up, they don't rust out. But I just think People were clever. You know, that would be a, a great invention for somebody who was making a lot of butter. They'd beat using that little hand churn.